Hey guys and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook group. So not a Facebook page for your business or whatever, but a Facebook group. Uh, so if you wanna learn how to do that, stick around. All right, guys, so in order to create a Facebook group, a brand new Facebook group, what you need to do is log into your Facebook, and then once you're logged in, go to your uh, timeline here, or time feed, whatever you wanna call it, uh, and then underneath groups, which will be on the left-hand side here under pages, go to groups and then click more right there. That'll bring up this group page here. You'll see suggested groups, friends groups, local, new, and also your groups. Now, if we go to the big green button here in the upper right-hand corner that says create group and click on that, we'll be able able to create all of our group information. Now, you're going to go ahead and name the group here. So, if I want to name this group Guru Nation, I can go ahead and name that there. And then as far as members go, you can enter their name. So you can do that here just like so. Enter the name of friends that you have on Facebook, or you can enter their email address as well. So I'll go ahead and add one here by typing the name and then clicking on the individual. It'll also suggest certain people who may be related to members that you've already added. Now under favorites here, if you want to add this group to your favorites, basically all that does is make it easier to access when you click on the list of groups that you are either a part of or have been a part of. Now, the next page or next section here that you're going to look at is the privacy of your group. Now, this is very important. Now, me personally, I do not like to be spammed with group invites. So normally you can make your group public, closed, or secret. What I normally do is make it public for people to join if I want. Now, what does that mean? If you make it public, anyone can see the group and anyone can post if they're members, okay? Uh, as far as a closed group, that means anyone can find the group and see who's in it, but only members can see the post. So if you have like a paid class or a paid service that you provide online, and people who are paying for your service are actually uh, able to utilize the closed group, that's one way you can utilize Facebook groups. Now, a secret group is only members can find the group and see the post. So nothing will be public about the secret group. Uh, the only way people can even see it it is if they're invited as members. So again, you got public, closed, and secret. So we'll create public for this one here. And then the, our closed, we'll do closed for this one here. And then click the blue create button. Once you've clicked that blue create button, you're then going to be able to choose an icon. So we'll go ahead and choose the dog bone there and then click OK. You can also skip that step if you want to. Now, then you're going to see this nice fresh blank group page. This is going to be uh, where people can come uh, and ask questions. They can come here and dialogue with each other. Uh, groups are a great way for people to kind of come to uh, as one unified place for people to come and discuss a, a unified topic. So on the group page, we're going to see a few different things. Now under personalize your group, you're going to upload a group photo. This is going to be like this timeline photo here. The dimensions for that are 800 by 200. So 800 wide by 200 high. We can choose a photo already from your photos or from group photos if you like, or what I like to do is normally upload a brand new photo by clicking that green button there. Now you can see the name of the group here, closed group here. So it'll tell you a little bit more about the closed group. It'll say that you are joined. If you want to unfollow or leave the group, you can do that here. You can share this on your timeline, and then you'll also have some notifications up here. Now, the first few things you're going to see underneath your group are discussion. You're going to see a members tab. This is going to be who is a part of this group. You're going to see events. Now you can create events specific to your group. So basically you can create an event here and only people or members of this group will be able to see the event details of that specific event. You'll have photos here, it's pretty self-explanatory, and then files. So like if you're part of an HOA on your neighborhood, whatever, you may have like specific documents or uh, files that need to be shared among everyone in the group. And then you can do that by clicking the files tab here, creating a new document or uploading a new Word document file. So let's go back to discussion. That's going to look normal to you, kind of like a timeline. You can write a post here. You can add a video, create a poll or add a file. Uh, so this is great to add a poll and kind of see uh, if you want people to poll on something, you can do that. Uh, video, photo, pretty self-explanatory, and you can even attach a specific file uh, from either Dropbox or your computer. Uh, over on the right, you're going to see a section that says add members. You'll only see this if you're an admin of the group. So like obviously I'm an admin here, I can click and enter names here and invite people. Uh, and I can even message specific members. All the members will be listed out here, how many members are in the group and how many are brand new. And 
then basically you can welcome those members by basically commenting uh, in the group to welcome her. So if we go down to group chat, we can also start a new group chat, only people in the group that you select. So here, if I had a whole bunch of people in the group, I can select them and then create a chat that I'm only speaking with those people. Uh, and basically the, the last few things you can see here, uh, we can add a description. Uh, so basically we can describe our group uh, here. So whatever you want the group to be about, uh, you can describe the group here in your description. Uh, you can save that there and that's going to be uh, over on the right under description. You can add an icon so we can pick a symbol that represents our group and then add a cover photo, which is what's up here. I've already shown you that. I called that a timeline uh, cover photo. You can do that. And again, the dimensions are 800 by 200. So basically, that's how you create and basically manage a Facebook group. These are a, gr a great tool. I am actually in the process right now of creating a group for my podcast, YouTube Creators Hub, where we can go uh, and I can discuss uh, new podcast episodes and things like that. So be looking out for that. Uh, and as always, guys, I hope this helped you out. If it did, go ahead and help me out by liking the video, sharing it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.